on this edition of Terriers Take 5. Dive right in. The swimming and diving teams are ready for the Patriot League Championship. Valentine's Day fun. Could the track and field teams outrun Cupid's arrows? And always remember the Terriers. The men's lacrosse team writes its own history early in 2015. Going for the perfect show. Terriers Take 5 starts right now. Hello all and welcome to Terriers Take 5. I'm Brian Moore. The David Henry Valentine Invitational was the perfect time for the BU track and field teams to have their inaugural alumni weekend. The Terriers unveiled the track and field wall of honor with the first class being all 56 BU All-Americans dating back to 1938. One of those honored was David Henry who the Valentine's Day event is named after. In the Track and Tennis Center, the Terriers had 10 top 10 finishes combined. Gemma Achampong took third in the 60-meter dash, while Ruben Horace took third in the weight throw. Both squads will head to Annapolis, Maryland this weekend to take part in the Patriot League Championship, where the men's team finished fourth a year ago, while the women's team claimed their first ever Patriot League title. It may only be February. But the chance to get a title is already here for the BU men's and women's swimming and diving teams. Head coach Bill Smythe talks about the Terriers in the 2015 Patriot League Championship. Uh, my expectations this year are high uh, for the individuals on the team and the team itself. Uh, but I think that uh, trying to predict a finish is not something that um, is a good idea right now. I am reading a Bill Walsh book right now called The Score Takes Care of Itself. And as I'm going through it, I'm starting to really get a deeper understanding um, of what Coach Walsh was talking about and being detail-oriented, being oriented towards the process um, and making sure that as we go through it step by step, we execute those steps at a really high level with intensity and passion and purpose. And then at the end of the night, we'll look up and see what the score is. And if we do a good job during the process, I'm pretty sure that we'll be pleased with the results. Well, I think there are different competition levels on either side. On the men's side, <clears throat> I think that Navy continues to have an edge in, in terms of their depth. Uh, I think that our guys can give their top guys a run, uh, but in terms of their depth, they've been uh, able to stack their team uh, a little bit better than most of the rest of the league. Uh, I think we're gonna give them a run in some areas, Bucknell and Army uh, will as well. Then on the women's side, I see it a little bit more closely. I think that uh, the top two teams are probably gonna be Navy and Bucknell um, duking it out for the top spots and I see us being able to be um, right there with those guys, along with Army and Lehigh um, and Colgate in some areas also. Mother Nature has altered the first two games of the men's lacrosse season. From their home opener being pushed to a neutral site to their first road contest turning into a home game here on Nickerson Field. The BU men's lacrosse team has let the win take them all the way to two wins. The BU men's lacrosse team has already made a mark in the history book. The Terriers have started the season 2-0 for the first time. The Terriers earned their first home win on Nickerson Field in program history on Valentine's Day, earning a 13-9 victory over Canisius. BU outscored the Golden Griffins 9-3 in the second half. BU has controlled possession, courtesy of 30 ground balls combined by Sam Talco and Greg Wozniak, which has led to production on the net, outshooting their opponents 61-40. Freshman Jack Wilson has made an immediate impact, scoring seven times to lead the Terriers. BU was supposed to open up on Nickerson Field against Mercer a week earlier, but due to field conditions, the game was moved inside the bubble at Harvard Stadium, which only seemed to motivate the Terriers to an 18-6 season opening win. Uh, it's just an incredible feeling. It's really nice to be able to bring a win here in front of, uh, in front of our hometown and our fans. So it's just great to... Great to finally get that win. I think it really shows that we matured as a team and that uh, we're making a lot of strides in the right direction. The Terriers have started the season as Avengers, beating two squads that defeated the Terriers a year ago. But that will do it for us here on Terriers Take 5. Continue to look for new episodes coming out on Thursdays. For all news BU, 
Check out the Athletics website at GoTerriers.com. For producer Leo Parre and our entire crew, I'm Brian Moore saying, let's go BU.